Hi everyone. Yeah, okay. Uh, does this look normal to you? Does it? Really? This cloud? Are you going to say, we've always had those clouds. We've always had those clouds that look like the inside of a vacuum cleaner bag. Yeah, we've always had black, gray, white clouds in the sky. Look at that. It does. It looks like the inside of a vacuum cleaner bag. I still do not understand how it is that people can just drive and look at that and think that is normal. You're kidding. Okay. <laughs> I'm just posting this video just to show you how bizarre the sky is here in Anderson, South Carolina. I'm just sharing with you. I don't have anything really to pass along any information. I, I, the only thing that I could pass along is, have you seen the clouds change in your area? See, they sit there, they change shape, they change color, and that could only be either there are payloads, yes, they can, they can put payloads in clouds and set them off with the frequencies, or it's the chemicals, the heavy metals in the atmosphere, then with the frequencies. Uh, you can see the black stuff just, it, it begins to literally just move down the white and then it curls around the white stuff. It's, okay, and we, this was last week, February, we've got the trees blossoming here, nothing nothing is quite right anymore. We've got multicolored skies. And this was two days ago or yesterday. Who knows? Every day just kind of merges into the next. Yeah, those pulsating frequencies, those microwave frequencies that you can see right there. Oh, those black clouds, right. Okay. So we've got pink, we've got aqua, we've got uh, a, a, a whole lot of colors there. We've got black and we've got those pulsating frequencies. So incredibly dangerous pulses. Pulses jar every cell in your body, disrupting internal communication because there's a lot of electromagnetic communication going on within your body. Yep. And the cells communicate using electrochemical signals and those pulsating frequencies disrupt that communication. And it's not good for you, but this was yesterday. So we had that blanket horizon to a horizon uh, shell and then it started to break up. And then it started, yeah, that pink color. Oh, pink, lithium. And then you just saw pink kind of just erupting all over. And the clouds were emitting pink stuff. I heard there was a fire truck that went by with the siren on. And my neighbor came out and said, is there a fire? Oh my God. She turned around and looked at the sky and said, oh, wow. I said, no, that's not a fire. Uh-uh. No, that's our sky. That's our sky. Yeah. You know that lithium video that I posted? All that pink stuff? So many people have commented, wow, I see that too. Are we being drenched with lithium? I just wanted to share with you guys. It's hard seeing this all the time. And then you don't hear any response from those in your real life. Crickets. Just crickets. The moon, this was last night, wow, very low, very large and smothered with this band of what? 
Well, black chemtrails and dust. The, the moon was, the chemical stuff was in front of it. And then the moon just kind of rose out of it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, today, driving by. And I see this tree. And it just kind of, well, what? It has no roots. It just fell. You see all of that lovely fungal disease all over that tree? Well, it just fell down. And by the time I got home, well, today, no chemtrailing, clear sky, and then you see the pink tint? Are we being doused with lithium? You see? But the moon I couldn't capture. It was so low, I couldn't get it just straight on. That's, that's a tree. Isn't that a kind of cool shot? But it was so bright orange. Anyway. Yeah. Bizarre things. <laughs> bizarre things are happening in what was once the natural world.